Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Google Chrome web browser for desktop, version 104, which is now the latest stable release. And this started rolling out on the 2nd of August, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, there's not too much in the way of new features to actually visually show you uh, um, in this video. And once again, most of the changes and improvements are taking place under the hood in version 104. And there's also one or two uh, developer features that Google is starting to try out in version 104. And then, of course, we get those all-important security fixes um, that roll out with every uh, major version upgrade, which we will take a quick look at near the end of this video. Now, as always, if you'd like to see if you have the update, just head to your menu, Help About Google Chrome. And if it hasn't updated you in the background already, uh, this will force the update in the browser to version 104.0.5112.81. Now, just to start off, um, the first uh, new little uh, improvement is that um, cookies now will expire after 400 days, where previously cookies had no limit. And um, now when they reach the limit of 400 days, cookies now will expire uh, in the Google Chrome uh, web browser now. Um, after the, the update to version 104. And then just to mention a new feature that's um, available, uh, which is called Region Capture, which now has the ability to crop self-captured video tracks. And as mentioned, it's called Region Capture, and it's going to let you choose which part of the screen you want to record or share. Now, in the release notes, uh, Google has given us an example using video conferencing where they say uh, you could always choose which tab to share, but now you can also select the area of the screen you want to share. And they say that this can be um, a handy feature for hiding the video conferencing controls while screen sharing as an example. And then just to mention another new so-called um, improvement and add-on, which already is um, causing a lot of controversy, um, and that's now that websites can communicate with other devices over Bluetooth. So if a website has the option to communicate with another device, say another laptop or a, a phone as an example, uh, it, it now um, will have the option to communicate to those other devices using a Bluetooth wirelessly. And um, Google says that this is going to increase productivity and communication without compromising on security, while both Mozilla and Apple are already saying that it's lower in security. So that's going to be an interesting one to watch in the future. And now just to mention, um, one or two um, developer features that Google is starting to try out in version 104. Uh, there is now um, a multi-screen window placement APR, which is being enhanced to allow sites to open a full screen window and a smaller pop-up window on multiple display configurations where previously uh, you were required to take a couple of extra steps to get the same thing done. And another improvement is um, that uh, the permissions to request full screen content can now be transferred across multiple trusted windows. And then another developer um, feature, uh, which I have covered in a previous Chrome Canary um, uh, video, is that there is an experiment that is planned to start with, uh, according to Google, only 1% of people running stable uh, the stable version of Chrome version 104. So that's a very small percentage. So um, a lot of us will not be seeing the feature rolled out in the stable version as yet, including myself. But just to do a brief recap um, on that feature, uh, and um, it's basically called Quick Intensive Throttling After Loading. And um, it's, it's for pages that are loaded when backgrounded. And it, activ it activates intensive throttling after 10 seconds instead of the default five minutes. And this is very similar to the sleeping tabs you find uh, in the Edge web browser where you can set a time limit for tabs to go to sleep in the background to save system resources. And that's exactly what Google is now starting to test with 1% of Chrome 104 users where um, uh, pages um, will go to sleep um, um, after 10 seconds instead of the default five minutes. And this basically intensive throttling will limit wake-ups, very similar to sleeping tabs in the Edge browser. And then the last um, developer feature just to mention is that uh, the, the secure payment confirmation now supports um, letting users opt out of storing their credit card data for later purchases. Now, just to get into those um, all important security updates. And just to mention something here on this side, 
Um, Google does, does mention here in the release notes for the stable channel update for desktop that if you are on Windows, your version could be uh, um, any of the, the following, 104.0.5112, 79, 80, or 81. So if you are seeing any of those, you have the latest version on Windows. And then for Mac and Linux, Linux it's just 0 0.79. So just take note of that. And then we have the 27 security fixes, which is a lot of security fixes. So if you're not inter interested in new features, just make sure you double check your browser is up to date. Um, as shown um, to get um, the uh, security fixes and out of the 27 security fixes seven of those are high risk vulnerabilities and then we have a couple of medium and then we just you know, there's no low as far as I can see there's just medium and high and high risk vulnerabilities are your second after critical so those are important and just to look at some of those very quickly use after free use after free very common a vulnerability um, in the Chromium web browsers, use after free, use after free. So most of those, once again, in the high risk uh, security vulnerabilities that have been addressed are use after free. So 27 security fixes have, um, have rolled out and eight high risk vulnerabilities have been addressed um, in version 104. And then if we just take a look at the Chrome platform status, uh, the next uh, version, Chrome 105, will be rolling out um, to the stable channel and version in 27 days time and that will be on the 30th of august at the end of this month which will be chrome 105 so that's more or less what's new uh, in this latest release for the chrome web browser for desktop version 104 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one